everyone. My name is Jennifer Stay and welcome to our weekly live event. I am swatching the Amazon Basics Premium Colored Pencils, the 72 set. And we are working on finding the 12 pencils that match the color wheel right now so that we can build the color wheel tritone set that you can download from my website. I've got links for you in the video description if you'd like to go check it out. You need to be a premium colorist, no, a bliss colorist to download this, but it's only, let's see, $5 a month to be a bliss colorist and you get access to a whole bunch of coloring tools and a whole bunch of coloring pages. So um, I would highly recommend you look into becoming a bliss colorist. The tools alone as a bliss colorist make it worth your while to become a bliss colorist. And this is one of many tools that you have access to. We also have other levels that include some awesome online workshops and full live um, coloring along sessions and all kinds of stuff. So you can follow the link and go check it out. We also have a really great free tool that Steve created for all of you by popular demand. Um, let me show that to you. It's right here. Where are you? Where are you? Uh, right here. Now, this is a swatch page that will hold 150 different swatch colors all on one page. So this is free for everyone. You can come and follow the, the link in the description to come and get this swatch page. So if you have a set of tools, gel pens, markers, color pencils, and you'd like to see all of them swatched, all on one good reference page that you can carry around with you. This page is for you. So Steve made it up for you and you can come and download and enjoy that right away. We also have something else really exciting that's coming up for February. It's called, I'm kind of still working on the title, but something like the 14 days of for the love of coloring. <laughs> And what we're going to do is color every day together as a countdown to Valentine's Day. And I've got the art started. It's about two thirds of the way down. It's all planned and ready to do the final line art and kind of tweak it and get it just right. Let me give you a teaser look at this art here. So what we're going to do, there's like day one, day two, day three, all the way through day 14. And we're all going to color it together through February to celebrate our love of coloring. And it's all sort of Valentine's themed. Um, you can kind of see my plan for each day, what I'm hoping to draw. Of course, these are all just rough sketches and sort of my rough plan for each day. And I need to do some definite refining of each image and make it look pretty but that will happen as I do the line art so I hope you're excited to do this with me I'm going to put the finishing touches on all of this tonight and tomorrow and then Steve our amazing guy here what he does is he takes my art and puts it up on the website and will make it available for you and this art is going to be free for everyone so that everyone can enjoy the love of color coloring with us. <laughs> I keep forgetting the title that we came up with, so I have to keep reading it. So you can look forward to doing that with us. We did it during Christmas and it was so much fun. And I really loved doing it because it kind of gave me this tiny little square to work in every day. And I got to experiment with lots of different tools and I can't wait to do it again. And, and then everybody posted it on Instagram or mainly in our coloring group, which is, do we have a thing? Mm -hmm. Right there. So if you haven't joined our group, please come on over and join it because that's where the majority of people were sharing their um, colored images through Christmas. And it was lots of fun to see everybody's different versions of every day's art. And everyone's so supportive, even if you're a beginner artist or beginning colorist and you feel like that you don't know what you're doing, it doesn't matter. It's just a fun place to enjoy um, sharing your art and sharing the love of coloring. So it's going to be lots of fun. So we have lots of stuff for everyone, whether you're a paid member or, oh, oh, <laughs> 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 whether you're a paid member or a free member we love all of you we love all the support you give us and speaking of support it really does help us when you guys hit like on our videos it really 
helps us. So if you could go ahead and hit like, that would be great. And you could always share this video with someone who enjoys coloring too. But one of the main things we're here to talk about today is the Amazon pencils. So let's take that off so we don't have to stare at that. There we go. We're going to talk about the experience I'm having with the Amazon pencils and Steve has actually updated the tool, this tool right here, the color wheel tritone sets. He's updated it for you guys. Um, it has included a really special, let me grab it here. Aha! This little, it's a third page now in that download. And what it gives you is a tiny little strip where you can do a little swatch of all the tritones that you pick out. And then you can cut the strip out and actually put it into your color pencil case. Can you grab my case and I'll show them the old version that Steve made it based on. This is how I have kept my tritones for a long time and lots of people have requested this little strip and now that Steve finally has had some time he has created this strip for all of you only he has done it much nicer and he has included the polychromos version the prismacolor version and a blank version so if you have the um the Amazon pencils or the Arteza pencils or the Black Widow pencils. You can make your own tritone set and a little swatch strip that you can keep in your pencil case. And the way I did it was I did my own laminating. If you have a laminator, you can do that. Or if you're like me and you've lost your laminator, you can use packing tape <laughs> and just put a couple strips of packing tape on it fold the packing tape over and one more strip on the back and bam, you've got some poor man's laminating on it. And then I just used paper clips and it clips right in here. And then I always remember which pencils belong in each tritone set. And then if I steal a pencil for a different set, say over here for my portrait set, then I can always go hunt it down and find the jasmine that belongs with the yellow orange set. Now it's over here in the portrait set and I can get it back where it belongs when I need that tritone set. So yay, Steve, thank you for all your hard work of getting all this together for all of them and updating that really awesome tool. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And right now we're in the middle of picking out all the 12 set, 12 pencils that go with the color wheel. We're talking about color in general and my first experience with the Amazon pencils. So Robin uh, asked a question, it was kind of cool. Um, uh, she was asking if anybody has tried to create all 12 of the colors on the wheel with just the three primary colors. Oh, yeah, like doing a mixing. Yeah. You can, I haven't tried it personally. So that sounds like a really good challenge. Um, yeah, that would be really cool. It w might be a little tricky with color pencils. That That is a really cool exercise to do with paint, um, with watercolor paints and other kinds of paints. With color pencil, it may be a little trickier, so I'd love to know if someone attempts that. I'd love to see it. And then Kelly asked, where do pinks fit into the tritones? Pinks are like a light red. Pink is basically red with white added into it. So that's where a pink lives. There are some odd colors in your color set, like browns. Where do browns live with um, the color wheel? There are no brown. There's no brown on the color wheel, right? There's no grays on a color wheel. There's no silvers and coppers, although copper is kind of an orangey color. Um, so when you learn color theory, you kind of learn where the browns come from. Where, where do browns come from? <laughs> You kind of learn all of these um, sort of sub-colors, how they, how they are birthed. <laughs> you kind of learn all of that. So um, that's kind of what 
is difficult when you're organizing your pencils into a pencil case. That was one of the first things I ran into before I started studying color theory deeper is like, where do you put the browns? I, I get the whole yellow, yellow, orange, orange, or, you know, red. I get that. But then when you hit the browns, where do you put the browns in? And yeah. It gets really hard and like I said over on Facebook because our first hour was over on Facebook color is very subjective and it's uh, my best advice to you is don't get too caught up in this don't get so like you know this blue has to be in the right place now is this blue more purpley or is this blue more greeny or is this a true blue is this really a blue blue and do I put it with the blues or do I put it more with the greens and yeah you can really drive yourself crazy with color so be careful remember this is supposed to be fun and we're supposed to be enjoying ourselves right <laughs> so yeah, that's my advice. Have fun with this. <laughs> the other part of advice that we talked about over on Facebook is to make sure you're in the right lighting when you're analyzing color. That is super important. You know, if you've ever tried to buy um, a shirt or makeup or something and you've been at the store and you're looking at it under one kind of lighting and then you go and you look at it under a different set of lighting at home or something, that shirt can look like a totally different color under a different set of lighting. The other thing is eyes. So my eyes will see color different than Steve's set of eyes will see color. And so sometimes it's helpful to have someone else kind of double check you and say, oh, I don't know, that kind of leans to the yellow more than I think it leans to the blue. And, and that can be helpful to have someone look at the colors with you and help you analyze things so that's some general tips from me to you so let's we were just about to pick violet and color match violet so i swatched a whole bunch more colors here onto this scratch piece of paper and what we're doing is we're using this color wheel as my color standard and it gives me something to say this is the standard we're saying this is violet and all pencils will be compared against this so this is the actual color wheel we used when we picked out our tritones for the prismic colors and for the polychromos and now for the amazon basics so that's how we keep everything <clears throat> standard across the board is by using the same color wheel ducks 50 says brown is from all three primaries yep that's exactly right well done that's some color theory knowledge that someone retained i wonder where she got it from if it was back from elementary school days or if she's had some other training i would love to know that if you remember that because see i didn't remember that little tidbit like i remember how to you know yellow and blue makes green i remembered that but i couldn't remember like where brown came from i had to go relearn that i knew that if you mixed all your paints together you'd get a really ugly poo poo brown color i remembered that <laughs> <laughs> but i couldn't remember why like i had to go watch some youtube color theory videos and then i was like oh that's right now i remember and <laughs> Anne asked what did rylan say when someone noticed the color in the pens and the gel pens <laughs> I don't know if we ever told him. Did oh, we tell did him? Did we forget? I think we forgot to tell him that someone finally noticed. Oh, we'll have to go we'll tell have him. We'll have to tell him. Okay, so you know me, you guys. Purple is my favorite, but I have to tell you, violet is one of my hardest ones to pick. I have a hard time seeing the difference between violet and blue violet. So even though purple is my favorite color, I have trouble in this area seeing the difference between red violet violet and blue violet. So I'm still training my eye in this area. Do you guys have a problem color that you have a hard time seeing? I would be really interested to know. Comment below. Do you have a color you have a hard time seeing? <laughs> so my, my hard area, even though it is my favorite color, is seeing violet versus blue violet versus I can see red violet pretty easy but these two is where I start having trouble so let's see if I'm what I'm going to do is pick what I think is the closest to blue violet then I'm going to have Steve tell me if he agrees we don't have too many to pick from which is going to help if we had our prismacolors here with probably twice as many it might be harder 
Are you ready to recommend these pencils? Uh, Paul is asking, would you recommend purchasing these pencils? See, we've got these that are the same basic price as the Arteza. So would I, you know, if I'm going to recommend, I'd still recommend the Prismic colors, you know. You can't buy these open stock, so that you can't buy one at a time. Um, so they're kind of on the same scale as, say, Arteza's, right? Arteza's you have to buy in a set. I think I'm going to say this one right here, Steve, for my violet. So 530, which one would you pick for your violet? I'm always, like, until we really got this color wheel, I never realized how blue violet is. Yeah, and I was just telling him like, this is Because I always where... picture violet more like purple, right? Like more of a more red violet. Yeah, like this color. Yeah, yeah. But you're right. I mean, violet is very blue. And it's hard to see. Like blue violet is like blue to me. Yeah. This is where I, I struggle with my color. Yep, I agree seeing though. Color. That one is. That one yep. right there. Okay, yep. so we're going to declare 530, which is, let's see what it's called. Ultramarine is going to be our violet. So what I'd like to do maybe is have Steve grab the Arteza's and I will kind of look at the Arteza set compared to this one because it's not fair to compare these to polychromos or to Prismacolors. They're two different creatures, two different price points. They're not, you know, they're not, they're not in the same league, but I think it would be fair to compare them to Arteza or some of those other more mid-range pencils. Okay, Ultramarine is what I picked. If you've got your, if you already have purchased your um, Amazon basic color pencils, I'd love to hear how you like them. It's a, bra a black tin with a silverish lid. Ultramarine. Okay. <laughs> Polly says, so are you saying be happy with my set of 150 <laughs> Christmas color pencils and play with my others? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, dear, yeah. Okay, now we're going to pick blue-violet, Steve. Uh, I think I've swatched enough. There's a couple more blues. <laughs> Mia Bear says everyone needs a color picking Steve. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. What would I do without him? I'm going to pull some of these purplies out. Because my hands are so full of pencils. Okay. I'm making a mess. We're picking blue-violet next. And I... Nope. Oh. Maybe I'm going to say 533. Yeah, I agree. Yep. Thank you, Steve. 533, let's see what it's called. I'm always curious what color it is. Blue. It's oh, our... thank you, Pamela. She gave us $10. <gasps> Pamela? And Jack gave us 5 Oh, thank my you. goodness. Are we going to play our game? No. <laughs> I just don't want them to feel like we're manipulating I think them. we should ask them. Were they here last week? I like Steve's all feeling bad now. <laughs> you yeah. you explain. Oh, okay. I'll what explain. you explain your thoughts while so, I color So if you weren't here last week, we had uh, here I'll show Rosie. Every time somebody gave us a a tip, a you donation, know, a, a here. donation. We would give Rosie a T R E A T. I'm not going to say it because she'll pop her little head up. Um, <laughs> she wouldn't pop her head up. What are you talking about? <laughs> anyway, and uh, so it was really cute. And lots of fun. Oh, yeah, lots of fun. <laughs> and Rosie loved it, and you guys loved it. But we just feel like I was just worried afterwards. Like, I was like, I don't want them to feel like we're manipulating. We don't, I don't want you guys to feel like we're manipulating you because, <laughs> like, you know, we're going to. Hey, if you give us money, our dog will get a treat. You know, <laughs> <laughs> then we could get our cat up here, and you know, you can choose whether the dog or the cat gets the treat. You know, and then really be manipulative. <laughs> 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 we don't want to do that to you. So you can let us know if you want us to give her a treat. We will, but please don't feel like you have to. We, we, 
so appreciate the donations, but please don't feel like if you don't donate, like somehow you're you're not contributing to our channel. You're so nice. <laughs> <laughs> my my teenage son is like, yeah, you could have Mishka the cat up there, and and then Rose will be looking all pathetic and sad in the back <laughs> if they pick the cat. He was joking about yeah, it. Yeah, he was like totally joking, and we were all laughing and like that would be so mean to do that. <laughs> Look, her little head popped up. Yeah, Are she keeps hearing the treat? word. She keeps hearing the word. So what the people who donated, I think they should um, get to say wh whether, uh, if they oh want. Oh boy, they love the idea of treats for Rosie. <laughs> Do they? <laughs> <laughs> and Katara agreed. But Equal that, time for kitties. <laughs> See, it could be so manipulative if we, we wanted to. It could be so manipulative. <laughs> but then it would turn into the pet show, mm -hmm. but maybe that's what they want. <laughs> Who cares about the coloring? Let's just do the pet show. <laughs> Look, so she's cute. getting more and more awake. <laughs> She's, She's like, like, what? what? The word treat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Donna said, are you using Arteza? I love them. Such bold colors and creamy. Okay, what we're doing, we're right now in my hand, are the Amazon Prime colored pencils. And they are coming in at the same price. Amazon Prime, let's see, these were $28 for the 72 set. And when I checked... The Arteza pencils were $29 for the 72 set, so basically the same price. So someone was saying, do I recommend the Amazon pencils? And I thought, well, maybe what we need to do is bring up the Arteza and I can kind of just do a softness test and show you side by side really quick what I think of the two because they are more in the same league, these two sets of pencils. So if you're trying to pick, you can kind of... Um, no, just my first impressions without doing a full um, review. So I need to pick blue, and Steve has something to say. <laughs> I can no, I see him over there going. They, they want the treat. Do they want the treat? Yeah. <gasps> so they have. Did you hear that? Someone. I forget the name, so we need to Jack. know. We have. Uh, we have. So we have two treats, right? Yes. She gets two treats. <gasps> what? Have, it's the uh, rose Pamela show. And Jack. And they both want. <clears throat> uh, look at her licking her lips. <laughs> Thank you, Pamela and Jack, for your treats for us and for Rose. <laughs> oh, what are you going to do? Say thank you, Pamela, for your donation to our channel. And look, I have one more. Will you stand up for this one? Oh, pretty girl. Say thank you, Jack, for your donation to our channel. Okay, now we better put them away so she doesn't, so she can settle back down. Good girl, good girl. Yeah, maybe we should bring the cat back up if that's requested. I don't know though. He may, may, may you know, cats, they have their own opinions about participation. <laughs> yeah, someone asked, where is he? I said he's downstairs managing the print shop. Yeah, he. we call him our, oh, I'm not on camera. You tell him the story while I'm okay. picking blue here. No, it's cute. Every time we're down there printing, he uh, he comes down and he'll sit on like the chair or on the couch <laughs> down there. So I call him our manager. Yes. Because anytime we're down there, he's there. So I say he's down there managing us. <laughs> he just sits there and watches us or sleeps most of the time. Yeah. He's, he's a really good manager. Or he complains. Where's my food? <laughs> yes, and sometimes we get graced with him up here. Very um, rarely, though. Yeah. Um, we'll have to, we usually have to go get him if we want him to be in, in yeah, the Yeah, which we here. could. We could go get him if, if people want to see him. Okay, let me see if there's some other coloring. I'm going to pick 535 for blue. Steve, what do you think? Because um, this leans too far to green. These, I think, are too far yeah, to green. Yeah, those are more blue-green. Yep, I agree. Okay, and then this is definitely the light blue. Yeah, that's nice. So I'm going to go ahead and say 535 for the blue, which is light blue. <laughs> oh, no, now we're going to be confused. And 532 for our light blue is what I'm going to declare. So light blue is our blue. <laughs> oh, Oh, see, this one's really soft. And that's what we were running to into over on Facebook, is some of the pencils seem really super soft and creamy. And then I kept running into a couple that felt 
extra waxy and hard to color with so I don't know what's up with that someone suggested I need to sharpen them because maybe there's a coating on the tip okay so light blue right here number five three five everybody's talking about how they're their animals <laughs> understand the spelling now too. Oh yeah, and now we have to do it. especially like the word the word I'm afraid to say it, but ride. Yeah. And when you spell it R I D E, it kind of sounds like ride. You know, R I D E. Yeah. So she knows when we spell that one. Smyrna. Has anyone ever heard that one before? Really, Smyrna Blue. Smyrna. Is that how you say it? That's how I would. But I don't Smyrna. know. Smyrna. Blue. I've never heard that one before. That's a new one to me. Five, three, two. Oh, that's cute. Debbie says our cat runs when he hears the printer. He puts his paw in where the paper comes out and he oh, smacks the paper. Oh, so cute. <laughs> okay, now we need to pick blue green, which I think is going to be relatively easy because all of these greens that are left kind of go towards the really yellowy green so five three nine katara says my ferrets like to push my pencils off the table oh. one by one so they can hear the clattering oh, <laughs> naughty oh so cool. naughty five four zero especially with pencils that's a big no-no to drop pencils michelle mentioned your body temp also affects the pencils oh yeah and my hands are super hot right now so Shouldn't that mean they are more creamy? Except I'm picking them up and coloring right away. 542. Ooh, he's really yellow. 544. Four. Okay, there's a bunch. So let's pick blue green. Oh, <clears throat> Leah had asked a question. She said, would it be easier to start with doing your primary colors first, like red, yellow, and blue, then secondary, and so on throughout the wheel? It could be, yeah. Um, <clears throat> for me, I like to see, kind of compare, because it helps my eye see blue-green better if I see blue next to it. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's how I like doing it, too. Especially over here in the violets. Like I said, I have a real hard time seeing <clears throat> violet versus blue-violet and red-violet. So seeing them side by side helps me understand the color if that makes sense. Well, and it's kind of interesting as you do this, it's okay. like your eye, it's almost like you have to sit there and it becomes color focused or something. Yeah. And the more you look at it, you start to see, okay, is that a little yellow or a little, you know, green yeah. or a little. And so I think it does help to do them one next to the other because it kind of tunes your eye or something. I'm thinking. Ooh, that's a tough one, isn't it? Kind of in between those yeah, it's two. Definitely between the two. So I'm going to lean this way because then we could use that for a light and the combination together would get the right tone, right? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. That that one's more, I think, I think closer to the blue green. Actually, but, these three together might make the right blue green. That combination right there. Yeah. Might be our light, medium, and dark right there. Yep. <clears throat> Okay. Oh, my left eye is really watering all of a sudden. Okay. It's a real test of my waterproof eyeliner right now. <laughs> 538 we're going to use for the light. 537 for the mid-tone. And 536 for our dark. Where are you? Right here. Okay, let me tell you which ones they are. In case you're following along and setting up your own tritones, the light is 538 turquoise green. Oh, see, that one's a nice creamy one. Okay. Turquoise green. I'm just going to go T dot green because it's such a small. Um, box 538 okay and then we've got the mid-tone is the 537 which is cerulean blue I'd say so far maybe 
two thirds of them are going down really nice and creamy. Cerulean so blue. Jack had written 540. I'm not sure which one. Uh-oh, did I do one wrong? <clears throat> I never make mistakes. Cerulean <laughs> blue. Oh, I'm, I'm not sure. 537. Which one did I mess up on? I'm not sure if it was a mess up. I Blue um, grass for the dark. Oh. Maybe Jack can explain why. Oh, look at that. I love blue green. I think, Steve, you've in, um, influenced me to really like blues. 536 for bluegrass. 536. Okay. There's our blue green combo. I'm going to put cerulean blue onto our tray. Budding artist asked, uh, what do you think so far of these pencils? They're decent. Um, I kind of don't want to like them, to be honest, because I take it. Maybe, Steve, we need to share why we're not happy about Amazon breaking into the... <laughs> I don't know. That, that's kind of... I don't know about not happy. It's we're, not... we're worried. I'm worried about it. Because I'm excited for companies like... Um, Black Widow and Arteza and Arteza and these kind of indie companies that are making really unique art supplies and I think your insight onto how these companies market and sell um, was really good so if you could share that with our YouTube audience while I swatch some greens yeah I mean I just you know I have some friends who sell on Amazon and they don't sell none of them sell the colored pencils but uh like even you know color and i know started as a uh they're very much an internet marketing company the guy who founded it um was very much into internet marketing um and saw that you know amazon had a a real potential there to to sell and so they started the company and he teamed up with his cousins or whatever and um but uh there's a lot of companies like that out there who are, you know, making a living uh, in Amazon through selling stuff on Amazon. So when you have Amazon competing directly with the people who have been selling through them, it just, I don't know, it seems a little unfair to these companies who work so hard to, to try to get on that front page of Amazon. And if you can do that, you can do really well. Um, and, I, and it's not that, you know, Amazon's going to take up the, the entire front page, but that number yeah, one spot that. can make a huge difference between, like, say, number two or number three. Yeah. And I don't know for sure. You know, it'll be interesting to see if Amazon promotes themselves to spot number one when people do a search. Yeah, if they're going to take over that, because they could. They have every right and every ability to just pop their products into the first slot all the time. I mean, basically, they got free advertising, right? It's their site. I mean, it's their company. Yeah. And, uh, so, yeah, I don't know. So I'm a little worried for our little indie companies that are potentially making some really new fun things like Black Widow. Yeah, I mean, that's a really cool story. And um, Castle Art. <clears throat> These companies, they are exclusively marketing um, their products on Amazon. I don't think they're selling anywhere other than Amazon. Yeah. So if Amazon... So they're one who could really be hurt by they that. They could really be hurt. And they're in there trying to make something cool and new and compete with, like I said, the big boys. And then Amazon comes in big, big boy. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I feel about it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Yep. Okay, I'm trying to pick blue, and I'm having a bit of a, of a problem. Is it more blue-green, or is it... We have blue... Am I picking blue? No! I'm picking green. <laughs> oh, 541, I'm thinking, but also 546. And they're kind of far apart, so I'm going to re-swatch them right next to each other. Okay, 541. Budding and artist about the, asked about the number system. Uh, it's just the numbers on the colored pencils themselves that they, she's using. They seem 
sort of logical, the number system. I think that's what she's asking. I think there's some kind of logic to it. Not like some sets where the numbers just seem really out there. I think these two might be our greens. What do you think, Steve? I need your eye. Okay, sorry, I was trying to... Sorry, I keep pulling you away from the chat. I no think problem. those two are our greens. If you want to slide it along there and... Just kind of really quick. Yeah, it's a little... That one's closer right there for sure. Yeah, I'm liking, I'm liking that one there. So it's awfully dark. I don't know if there'd be anything darker though to pick for dark. What about... Yeah, that's a very yellow green. That would be kind of a good dark yellow green. That's the, the green that... I would do that one as a dark green maybe. That's got so much blue in it. Yeah, it does. And I'm just trying to see what other... Yeah, so like you said, I mean, you could do that one and, and that is the light. This is so hard sometimes. Yeah, because they're both... They, they're definitely in the green family for sure. Okay. I mean, if there isn't a lighter color than that, then yeah, that may be the way to go. Is uh. Because I wondered about having to pull from, like, that weird green for the dark. Yeah, you may have to and just go easy on it. Okay. So I've got for our... So is that the light green then? Or is that the green green? And that's the dark green, Steve. Oh, this is, this is a hard one because it's sort of in between, you guys. I don't like any of them. I think that's the problem. None of them are like... Polly. She just gave us $20. Polly, you <laughs> spoil us. <laughs> Polly. So... <laughs> We love you, Polly. Yes, and I think Polly gets to decide what, if she would like um, a T-R-E-A-T to go to the D-O-G or the C-A-T. <laughs> <laughs> Five for one. Okay. I think... But you liked that one. Tell me just to make a choice. Yeah, just make a choice. Which one? Is that the main green? That's what I was thinking. That looks... That's the main green? Yeah, or that one. See, that's what... Now I'm wondering, too. Yeah, that one feels a little more neutral. But... Okay, 540. We changed our minds. 540. See, oh, color is so subjective. You, sometimes you just have to pick one. 540. We picked it. 540. And it's brilliant green is our color. Brilliant 540. Brilliant green. You guys are so kind to support our channel and support our business so much. Thank you so much. Okay, slide that over. Let's see how green colors off. Oh, brilliant green. Let's see how this one feels. See, this one feels a little bit more waxy. Interesting. So, you know, I would say that, oh, that's got some grit in it. Hear it? Do you hear it, Steve? Yeah. This one's got grit in it. There's one thing to be waxy. It's another thing to have grit. Grit, ew. Grit is unacceptable. That one's got grit in it. Okay, yellow green's the last one. We made it all the way around the wheel to yellow green. Okay, yellow green. There's not as many to pick from for yellow green. Um, I think this one's closer than that one. What do you think, Steve, that one? That's a nice yellow green, isn't it? Oh, that one. Let's see. Yeah, I like that one. Okay. 550. Is it this one? Yep. Okay, all these boys can go back in here. 
so well organized back into their tin. Lime green is our yellow green. Ooh, that <laughs> one's creamier. Polly said, I'm older than you. I can do what I want. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. And she says, a treat, of course, for Rosie. Oh, Rosie. Rosie, guess what? Her little eyes. Guess what? Polly wants to give you a treat. <laughs> she totally popped up. Polly wants to give you a treat. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh, you're so lucky. Okay, what are you going to do for Polly? What are you going to do? Are you going to stand? Stand? Stay? Stay? Up, 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 up. Good girl. Good girl. Say thank you, Polly. Thank you, Polly. Oh. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> she said, I know that was only half. <laughs> Good girl. Okay, you can go back to sleep. Good girl. <laughs> oh, such a sweetheart. Okay, this one is lime green. And that's our last one. We made it all the way around the wheel. Caitlin's Music World asked, how, sh how short should a colored pencil get before throwing it away? Well, you can get those extenders. Have you seen the extenders? That's what, uh, yeah, Debbie says that. I use a holder when they get short. Yeah, so I think it depends on the brand. You know, if you've spent a lot of money on your pencil, like um, a Prismacolor or a Polychromo or a Caran Dash or something then I would say get an extender and get every bit out of that pencil those little nubbins can give you a lot more coloring but if if you've got a really cheap pencil like a Crayola or something that you're not super enjoying your coloring with it then you know let it go <laughs> if it's cramping your hand and it's no no longer blissful to color with then let it go Okay, so let's look at them. This is always really fun, this part right here. Look how pretty all of them look together. Ooh, they're so pretty and rainbowy. So fun. That's so pretty. So there's our 12. And here's how they look. Even a few of them we've filled out the lights and darks already. And then you want to write at the top that this is the Amazon <coughs> Basics premium which always cracks me up because they don't have any other line premium 72 set discovering coloring with danny says working on testing my black widow tritone sets oh cool yeah if, if you don't mind i think there's lots of people who have um the black widows and if you get some good tritones they would love you to share them um so let's Let's do some comparison with the Arteza since these are the same price range, same idea. Um, you can't get single ones. Um, both are claiming to be premium or expert. Let's see. Right off the bat, look how much prettier the Arteza as a tool is. Um, let's grab this yellowy, um, <clears throat> something in a similar yellowy pencil here. Lark says, I have a jar I put nubs. Oh. I have a jar I put nubs in. I bet that's Calls a beautiful it, jar. Yeah, the colored, <laughs> the colored pencil graveyard. Oh, I bet that's a, I have a graveyard for Sharpies. And then like you guys know, I collect all my pencil sharpi sharpenings. And I think that's beautiful too. Don and Sarah love their Artezas. Yeah, look how beautiful that tool is. Um, it's a beautiful pencil. They both have that same paint where it looks like it's been painted with white first and then dipped into the color. So they've been painted similarly. I think the core of the Arteza may, I don't know. They're probably the same. It's hard because the cap of the Arteza has been covered off. So we'd have to cut that off to really be able to measure that. Um, but the barrel feels the same size. Um, both have um, names and numbers, but Arteza has done us, those of us with bad eyesight, a big favor. Look how big the writing is compared to Amazon Basics. 
teeny tiny little words. You guys can't probably even read that on screen, but you can probably read the Arteza on screen. And then Arteza also has this, um, these three pluses right here is referring to their um, light fast rating, I believe. So some of their pencils will only have one plus and some have um, the three pluses. And then if you look, I think it says on the back about the pluses. Let's see. Um, maybe not. Is it on their website, you guys, that it talks about their light fast? Or was there a leaflet at one time inside here? I like that the lid is hinged on the Arteza. And then it's three trays instead of two. I don't know if that really means anything to anybody. Let's see if there's a leaflet at the bottom of this. I usually keep the leaflets. No leaflet. So it must be on their website where it explains about the light fast ratings. Lisa says, love that big print. Got my polychromos today and I'm struggling to see the names. Oh yeah, the polychromos. Um, but the polychromos also have their light fast rating way down there. Teeny tiny little stars, but that's a polychromo um, light fast rating as well. So, um, yeah, I don't know how Arteza is doing their light fast. Oh, right there. They're using the ASTM D43-4236 standard. You can actually Google that, you guys, and learn what that means if you ever really, really want to know. That's what uh, I think their light fast rating thing is. Ollie's, <clears throat> Ollie asked if you'll make a video that will finish this tritone. <clears throat> um, a video? I don't know. Um, will I actually finish it out all the way? Potentially. I, I, it's going to bug me until it's finished, I think. <laughs> yeah. uh, Danny says, I'm testing my trails on your ice cream coloring swatch page. Oh, on your cool. Ice, sorry, ice cream swatch page. I'm yeah. going to have some weird flavors when I'm We done. should show them that. <laughs> um, it's in the second to bottom drawer, I believe is my swatch books right here. I still want to do, that's the swatching catalog. I still want to do, this is the book that I want to do a swatching marathon with all of you and swatch. See, I have my Black Widows swatched here, the three different sets, and that's all I've swatched so far oh, in here. There's your ice cream. Here's my ice cream one that he's talking about that you can get on our website if you want a fun swatching book. This one is filled with different imagery that you can swatch into, even like if you want to swatch into color pencils or ladybugs or flowers or keys. This one's all full of fun things to swatch into. This one I have ready to swatch my entire color pencil set onto these pages. So I want to do a swatching live marathon one of these days and just sit and bliss out and just enjoy swatching all my color pencils. Someday, but now we're finally getting caught up with things. So I'm feeling like that day is coming. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. So. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Amy says the Amazons aren't calling to me so far. No, I think, oh, I didn't do an actual coloring comparison, softness wise. Let's do a softness test. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes because it helps me concentrate. Oh, see, I've never really been that. Arteza did pretty good on our softness battle. Did you guys see my softness battle? Okay, versus, oh, see, that's the third time that tip's busted on me. See, right there, it broke. I don't know, these might be, this one <laughs> might be a little softer, but it was this red one. Try sharpening the red one, too. Was this the red, or was one of them was red-orange? See, yeah, this, can this you red hear one it? Right here. Ugh. Yeah, it almost gets like. Ugh. See, there's something up. Try sharpening it. 
I'm going to sharpen those two. And then was it the green one that was gritty? And I was like, that's not okay. Yeah. Oh, hear that? That's, that's, there's something up. There's some inconsistencies in the pencils. That's why I, when I do my full reviews, I usually um, swatch every single pencil because of issues like this. Sometimes you run into inconsistencies across the whole set, or you find some that aren't centered correctly, um, which I've, I won't tell you what sets those were because I don't think they're readily available anymore, and I don't want to badmouth anybody. Okay, this is the one that was gritty. See how dusty they are too? I wonder compared to the Arteza, if these are just as dusty. No, see? Not nearly as much dust coming off of the Artezas, just a tiny bit. Yeah, I think I'd steer you to the Artezas. Um, mainly because of the inconsistencies I'm running into. And it's the same price. Okay, let's sharpen up this red guy. Got it really sharp. Let's see if that tip breaks. Oh, oh. Hmm. I sharpened it right. Okay, let's let Carl do it. Got really quiet. That's the pencil breaks. It got really quiet. <laughs> Polly asked, how do you use the neon pencils and the metallic colors? Come on. Look at all the dust. See? Oh, that's just so dusty. Okay, it didn't break that time. Michael says, just bought some Arteza pencils, so close to Prismacolor. You can see the quality and feel the creamy blend, but I think Prismacolor can never be beaten. Yeah. Um, it's hard to know, like, what... Like, Arteza, I wish they would come out with, um, that you can buy their pencils individually. What do you think? Yeah, they're not bad, but you know they are what the, what what they are. What? You keep whimpering. Do you need to get down? Wonder if you need to get down. What time is it? Oh, we are at the end of our our time together. Okay. Well, we had a pencil break. One of them is really gritty. Um, some inconsistencies in texture as I'm coloring with them but having said all of that they are relatively creamy um, the majority of them are relatively creamy and um, they are a good value let's see $28 for 72 pencils but this one here Arteza is $29 for those 72 pencils so um, I think Steve's trying to find a link did you find a link for those no, no. Maybe Steve can find a link for the Arteza too for us um, if, in case you're curious about them because, you know, they're a pretty good pencil and they're pretty and the writing is bigger and it's about the same cost. So we learned a lot and we started up our, um, our tritones. Don't forget you can come and download this off our website and there's links to this chart right here um, in the video description. You do need to be a Bliss Colorist or higher in our Bliss Booster membership program, um, but it's only five bucks a month to become a Bliss Colorist and like I said, you get access to a ton of fun tools. And I think we have other videos here on YouTube all about this tool and how to use it and how to apply the tritones into your coloring pages. So you can go watch those videos and get all kinds of great coloring tips and 
yeah, as far as finishing up these tritones, I probably won't work on that tonight because I need to work on this page if we're going to start doing the 14 days of For the Love of Coloring together. So I need to work on this tonight and get the inking done and beautiful for all of us. So I'll be working on that. So I will probably do a live event to launch that 14 day coloring challenge together um, probably here on YouTube. So make sure that you've hit the notification bell so that when I do come on live, you'll get a little notification so you can come and join us. This will be a free download as well so that everyone can participate in that fun coloring challenge. It should be lots of fun. Um, is there any last minute questions I can answer about any of this that we did <laughs> no but patty was saying that um one of her she was having a real trouble with one of her black widow pencils and so she wet a dishcloth oh. stuck it in the microwave then wrapped the pencil to melt the core a bit salvage oh. the rest of the pencil so did you heat the washcloth um out you didn't put the pencil in the microwave is that what you're saying you probably heated the washcloth oh, and got it hot I see. and then brought the washcloth out of the microwave and wrapped it around the pencil. Is that what you're saying? Because that's a really good idea because I bet the, the moist heat probably really helped. I bet that really helped. So I know that you have to be a little bit careful of putting the pencils in the microwave because some of the metallic writing could cause an issue in the microwave i've heard of that being a problem so what's the polly asked what brand bessie your your bessie is your vacuum my vacuum bessie um is says so hap so hap so hap on the bottom it's just some chinese <laughs> I just looked for the cheapest, cutest little desk vacuum. I think it's meant to vacuum up um, your toast crumbs on your kitchen table. I think that's what it was originally designed yeah, and for. Yeah, they have like a pig. They have a pig. And I think when I bought it, the cow was the cheapest at the time. So that's what I got. Because I was like, what if it doesn't work? So, And then I wrote Bessie's name on, on the back so I wouldn't forget what I named her. She's still working great, though. So Bessie yeah. works good. Patty said heated the washcloth, then wrapped the pencil. Yeah, that's smart. I like that idea. Like I said, the moist heat probably really helped. So cool. Good to know. All right. Um, yeah, I think the last matter of business is probably a link to the Arteza pencils since we've kind of come to the conclusion that these Amazon basics are good, but if I had to steer you one way or the other, I'd probably steer you towards Arteza. So if you could find them a link to that, Steve. The Artezas? Yeah. Oh, I found the Cal vacuum. You found, he found Bessie. Okay. You found Bessie. Were you, Polly? <laughs> okay. That's a link to Bessie. I hope those links work. I was in one live chat once and people were putting links in and they weren't working for yeah. me. It's called, just in case it doesn't, here's what it's called. Okay, and then you said Arteza? Arteza 72 color pencils. Expert. Yes, gonna get the expert. And when I looked them up, they were 29, and it looks like they're still 29. Yeah. Okay, he got the link. Here it comes for anybody who wants to go research those pencils. I think most everyone's pretty familiar with the Arteza pencils. Yeah, so like you said, they're about the same price, and... Yeah, but yeah, if you've got the Artezas, don't feel bad about it. I mean, the Amazon Basics, if you've already bought them, don't feel bad about it, because like I said, the majority of them feel very creamy. It's just been a few of them that I've hit that have had issues. So I think you're going to get a lot of really great coloring out of those Amazon Basic pencils. So I think they're really yeah. great. So Lark did say, I have a little electric stove in my craft room, and oh. I put my pencils on top of it. Um, they get just the right temperature, and I have no problem with breakage. Oh, that's cool. That's a great idea. Yep. 
All right. Any okay. other? No. Are we good? Yep. Okay. Well, thanks for joining us. Um, like I said, watch for me to come on live to kick off our 14 days of For the Love of Coloring. That should be lots of fun. So make sure you hit the bell and we'll be back next Wednesday um, also to do our live event again. So make sure you join us on Facebook and here on YouTube for our regularly scheduled live events. So thank you for joining us. Thanks, Steve, for all your hard work getting everything set up and the new pages for everybody. Sure You're appreciate welcome. everything. So you guys are fantastic. I hope you have a wonderful, colorful, blissful day. Bye-bye, everybody.